Yep, hello, this is uh, Redneck Dave here, trying to show you how to change uh, or diagnose whether it's your fuel pump is a problem or your mass air flow sensor is a problem. Uh, what is causing what is causing this intermittent stalling on your vehicle? Sometimes this mass airflow sensor right here on this Silverado is right here. Now on a Camaro one time it was over there. But anyway, it's a uh, kind of ridiculous because what I was told what happens is when you step on your gas pedal, uh, you open this flapper and you increase airflow and then this mass airflow sensor then tells your injectors down here to give you gasoline. Well, I don't quite understand computers, but if I'm stepping on the gas pedal, uh, I want fuel. So why do they have this mass airflow sensor to tell that we have airflow? That means I stepped on the gas pedal, give me fuel. But anyway, that's just how that crap worked. Anyway, uh, I had an intermittent stalling problem on this Silverado. Ended up being the fuel uh, pump in the tank. And the rest of the my other video shows how to change that out. But I had a code on it, and I went down to the O'Reilly and the O'Reilly uh, self-made genius at O'Reilly's had me plug in his little code thing and it was uh, I don't know what this thing is called but I paid $134 for it and I changed it and that was not the problem I did change my fuel filter which was plugged solid almost so that probably means your fuel pump is pumping up against a blocked fuel filter it's not a good thing bad on the pump but one time on a Camaro I changed the mass airflow sensor which was right here uh, actually I changed a fuel pump first that was not the problem it ended up being the mass airflow sensor intermittently not giving fuel uh, fuel to my uh, injectors so I guess the video is what the hell is the actual problem you know you got a plug filter do you have a bad uh, fuel pump? Is the mass airflow sensor not sending fuel? Just what exactly is the problem? Well, the most important thing on this Silverado and all your other cars is if you've got a if you got a problem with uh, fuel, check the fuel pressure. So that's what I did. I took this little cap off right here, and I went down to O'Reilly's and they let you put a deposit down. They'll loan you one for free. And uh, anyway, this is after they t uh, the code said it was this thing over here, and that had nothing to do with it. Uh, something to do with your exhaust, little check valve bullshit, no idea. But anyway, I, and uh, I put my uh, regular fuel uh, air fuel pressure gauge on right there, and it told me I was like 35, 40 pounds of fuel on, and I'm supposed to have a steady 55. So I ended up changing out the whole. Uh, fuel tank, uh, fuel pump in the tank, and uh, but any car you should check the uh, fuel pressure. If your fuel pressure is fluctuating and not good, change your filter. If it's still not good, that your fuel pump is probably bad in the tank. But an intermittent cutting out and stuff could also be the mass airflow sensor. But check fuel pressure. My fuel pressure was low, so that's why I went there. Also, uh, because of the other video. I would like to show the other video shows how I cut a hole in the bed of my truck. This is just a patch after I got done. Bed liner go back in, no big deal. But watch the rest of this video show you how to change that out, save you about six hours worth of work. Because I'll be working, I'll be working down at the Walmart and. Uh, So anyway, to recap, if you got low fuel pressure, you either got a filter problem or your pump, probably the damn pump, change the filter anyway, anytime change pump. Filter's only 15 bucks. But I be working at the Walmart and I ain't got much money. One time they gave me a 10 cent an hour raise and Sam Walton flipping around in his casket and it caused an earthquake in Bentonville. Anyway, uh, 
I can't take it to the dealer. So I got to figure this stuff out myself. So intermittent cutting out could be fuel filter, could be fuel pressure, could be mass airflow sensor. Check your fuel pressure first. That's the main point of this. Goodbye.